Boom, bam. This is a message to Paul Hall. Before the Mexico match. Uh -huh. A serious message to Paul Hall. Oh, yes. A big message to Paul Hall. Certain things you must watch. For the Mexico match. <laughs> the Maverick in the building again. Yeah, World Cup qualifying. I resume. Yeah, Jamaica versus Mexico. And as me said, we feel a need to send a messenger directly to the new Reggae Boys coach, Paul Hall. Yeah, and you know what we realized that this need became imperative when we watch the Jamaica versus Peru friendly international. Paul Hall's first game in charge. And look here. I realize now, so there's a big elephant in the room with this Jamaican national scene, Reggae Boys team. Theodore Tapa with more the previous coach, he look like he never see the elephant. And Paul Hall come now, see, and after the first game, the Peru friendly, he look like Paul Hall don't see the big, loud elephant in the room either. So the Maverick have to send him a lesson. Well, this way, they have sent. Paul Al, me I send him the message. Yeah, me I send Coach Paul Al the message. Kind of makes sense. We send tap again. Car, they ask and to the, the, the bolt. They ask bolt. See, but you may say Paul Al, the Jamaica football team, the players, the team, the core of players, the unit, Jamaica football team no fit. We cannot play at the kind of intensity we played in the first half against Peru. We cannot play with that kind of intensity for 70, 80, 90 minutes. We are going to burn up. And it's not something we start now with this group of players. It, is been, it has been evident from the World Cup qualifying, from before the World Cup qualifying start. Flash your mind back to the World Cup. See, look at so many of those games. How we intensity up for the first 45, maybe up to 50 minutes. See? But after that, we intensity to start fall off. Look at the World Cup qualifying game. Look how many of the World Cup qualifying games. I can't name them. You have the one up in Mexico. See? You have the one on El Salvador, the crucial one on El Salvador. See? The majority of our games, we play good first. Some of them we play directly rubbish, you know? See, like the trail of where we get a stadium, but rubbish. You understand me? But flashback to that game that we got beaten in the USA. See, we started out fairly well, and we were toe to toe with them basically for the first half. Boom, bam, come back. The big game, the crucial game on El Salvador, the first game on Upper Mexico. We intensity start go down. See, and we, the fans out there watching, you know, can see the intensity of going on, you know, and see the danger looming, you know, and see the goal against us coming, you know. But it looked like the man, them, by the coach star, coaching staff, blind. <laughs> we don't know what. Something with them when they stand up down there on the sideline, them can't see the things that we are seeing when we are watching match from in the stands and power TV. Eh? That's why my office send this message to Paul. All the elephant in the room is that the Jamaica team is not. Fit, no coach hard. How you address that now? See? You can't get them fit. You know the four or five days where you get them in the FIFA window, you know? You can't get them fit. So it's simple. Part of the reason why so many people are optimistic about the Jamaica team qualifying for the World Cup is because the depth, the relative depth where we have in our squad compared to the other team member in the region. Right? And Tapa will fail miserably in this aspect of his management. The, the deployment of our resources from the bench. I mean, I tell you the truth, Paul Hall. We not take a step from Paul Hall so early in the tenure, you know. But based on what we saw in the Peru game, is the exact blueprint, the recipe for disaster. Me, I watched the game against Peru. And my God, this was a team that had just come together. Hardly played a lot of games, hardly spent a lot of time on the training ground together. And I was so proud of the level of intensity and even the, the, the shape and the organization of the team for the first 45 minutes. But me, the Maverick, I watch the game. I mean, I have gloat and boast. Any football dunce could have say, so we could not continue to play with that level of intensity for 60, 70, 80, 90 minutes. See? So the trick that Tapper missed while he was coach, and the trick where Paul Hall started to miss in a pace on his first game, result and performance, is that we have to learn to utilize our bench. It's one of the strengths we're supposed to have coming at this thing, you know. 
But you guys have wasted so far. We have wasted the use of our bench and the allocation of our substitutes. We suppose you have picked with team, with squad, right, right, with the knowledge and acceptance. Unfortunate at it as it is. So we don't fit compared to the other teams that we not conquer cuff. We look at teams like, um, like, like USA and Panama, Canada. Them teams they fit like fiddle. Now, this is not something now we can just throw like we used to do on the local base players, you know. Because not the local base players are playing a Jamaica team. It, it's just for one reason or another. Remember, some of these guys in you know, our team, they have no club. Some of them just, just start get contracts. Some of them in transition. Some of them, for whatever factors, a myriad of factors, with team generally just not fit. And the people, it's look like the people in charge don't recognize it. See, so what we have to do, Paula, and company and the assistant and the staff. Somebody please get this message to Paul Hall. See, Tapa never get the message. We not try to send it to Tapa, and Tapa wasn't accepting the message. But we team no fit. And when we are pushed the intensity, Paul Hall start playing this the pressing game now. We could have said that you know we play we were playing with a high, higher level of intensity. We're pressing high up the park and a counter press when we look we, 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 we look good in that regard. But a game lasts for 90 plus minutes. You can't play your game for 45 minutes or 50 minutes and then feast the other team will stop playing. Yeah. We have to realize and we have to, when we pick the squad, we have to pick people who, when we go to the bench, the, 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 the intensity of the game don't drop. See, and we have to learn, Paul, we have to go to the bench strategically and timely. Don't wait till the man them tired and start make mistake here and start giving the ball. See, and, and, and we go two or three love down and then we are rushed to a bench like it's just we are rushed to a bench now. No, we need to be proactive with our changes and utilize the strength of our squad. You get me? Well, I mean, I know, brother, I mean, I know. Look here, I salvage. We are trying to salvage the campaign, you know. Last parados to the panel. You know. That is why starting for this game Thursday against Mexico. The Maverick is here trying to reach out. Me a try. Me a send a message to Paul Hall about certain things he must watch. Yeah, a big message to Paul Hall before the Mexico match. Yeah, certain things you must watch. Not just the Mexico match. Yeah, but the Costa Rica match. Yeah, and the Panama match. Remember the elephant in the room, my boss? We are not fit, so we have to utilize with bench. Last parado to the panel, you know? and it's no one never, you know. It's do or die, you know. And we never go home, you know. Certain things you must watch.